Biology 160, Introduction to Anatomy and Physiology, talking about the lymphatic system. I want to take just a few minutes here and talk about antibodies. Antibodies are an important part of the humoral response, they're an important part of our immune system. And they are proteins, these are soluble proteins, that are produced by the B cells in the humoral response, specifically the plasma cells, which are a type of B cell, in the humoral response and these are secreted directly into the bloodstream and so they're circulating throughout our body finding a specific antigen attaching to that and trying to destroy it antibodies all have a similar structure and it's often called a T shape or a Y shape depending on how you want to look at it and this is this is a, the shape of an antigen um, what it would look like with all the amino acids. So it is a protein, so it's built of amino acid chains, these large chains of amino acids. And there's some specific parts that all antibodies have. All antibodies are made up of four uh, chains of amino acids. Two of these chains are called the heavy chains. And you can see them here, two heavy chains. And then there's two light chains that are associated with antibodies. And you see how the light chains and the heavy chains match up together in order to build this kind of Y-shaped um, antibody. What ends up happening is because of this relationship between the heavy and the, and the light chains, you end up with these two spots here on the end that are called antigen binding spots. This is where an antibody is able to attach to an antigen. This is where it recognizes an antigen. And these two spots are identical to each other. Because the dark, the two heavy chains, the two light chains are identical, so these antigen binding spots end up being identical as well. What this then means is because there's two antigen binding sites, this means that this antibody can bind to two antigens at the same time. The spot down here is called the constant region, and that's from this. That's why they put the C here. So the constant region. This identifies the type of antibody. So we have a few different types of antibodies, and, and this is what tells us what type of antibody it is. The antigen binding sites are variable sites because every antibody is going to have the variable site is going to be different with every group of an, with every antibody. So the B cell that produces the antibodies will all the antibodies produced by that B cell will have the same antigen binding sites, but binding sites, but depending on the antigen it's trying to fight all of the antibodies can have different variable uh, variable antigen binding spikes, this binding sites um, from beta, from B cell to B cell. Hopefully that made sense. Here's so here are the different types of antibodies. Antibi antibodies are also called immunoglobulins. And so when you look at when you write the antibody, you see the Ig, the Ig here stands for immunoglobulin and then the other letter represents what that immunoglobulin is the type of antibody it is so immunoglobulin m this is a this is the type of antibody it can fix or an, or activate the the complement and we'll see what that is here in just a second when we watch the video we have the immunoglobulins a's which are found mainly in the mucous linings of the body where they're trying to pick up on antigens. There's immunoglobulins D, which are important in the activation of B cells. Mu immunoglobulin Gs, which can, these are the ones that can cross the placenta, and they can also fix complement. And then we have the IgEs, and these ones are the ones involved with allergies. Each of these immunoglobulin classes look a little bit different. There's a chart in your book that shows where, for example, immunoglobulin Ms, they're always found in groups of five, Immunoglobulin A's can be uh, can be found in groups of twos, and then some of the others are only found in uh, as individual antibodies running around throughout the body. The way that it, an antibody fights is through a few different ways, and here they're listed. And I'm going to show you a little video here that describes the different ways that an antibody can work. So it's a protein floating in the blood that's able to fight against these antigens. Okay, here's the video.
The main role of antibodies secreted by plasma cells is to tag foreign molecules or microbes for destruction. Binding of antibodies to antigens can trigger several effector mechanisms. Neutralization occurs when antibodies bind to antigens, blocking their activity and making them harmless. For example, antibodies cover the surface proteins of this virus, preventing it from hooking up with a host cell. Other antibodies may bind to toxin molecules on a bacterium. The bound antibodies attract macrophages, which dispose of the invaders by engulfing them, a process known as phagocytosis. Antibody molecules have at least two binding sites, allowing them to form a clump of microbes by binding to two antigens on two different cells. This process, called agglutination, traps microbes and makes it easy for macrophages to capture them and dispose of them by phagocytosis. Precipitation is similar to agglutination, except this process clumps together free antigen molecules dissolved in body fluids. This inactivates them and attracts macrophages, which destroy them by phagocytosis. One of the most important mechanisms of humoral immunity is the activation of complement proteins. Binding of antibodies to a foreign cell triggers complement proteins in body fluids to form a hole in the membrane of the target cell. The hole allows water and solutes to enter the cell. The foreign cell swells, bursts, and dies. Humoral immunity, mission accomplished. And there we have a little bit about the different types of antibodies and how they are able to destroy the different antigens that come in contact with our body. And we've seen the different types of antigens and how they're able to help protect our body and, and how they're part of the humoral response. Thank <laughs> you.